Last week, a friend was telling me, my joints just hurt. I don't feel the way that I did when I was 20. I can't do all the things I did. Yeah, but there is no reason that she or I or you cannot do the things that we want to do. We don't have to settle for aches and pains. You can live the life that you want. I'm Sherry Traxler with Vireo Life, author of Go Forward, 28 Days to Eat, Move, that's what we're talking about today, and Enjoy Life God's Way. Congratulations. Pat yourself on the back. Just watching this session today means that you are ready to move in ways that better your health. This little guy, love having him under my seat in the car because if I'm stuck in traffic, if I'm stuck at a red light that's going on forever. Getting this out, yes, it passes the time, but it also keeps the forearm strong so you can open up the cans forever in your life. And being able to work the bones in the hand and the forearm, spot on. Here's a trick that I started a couple of weeks ago. I shared it with my Facebook followers and a lot of them have started doing this too. When I'm just scrolling social media for goofing off, I get in a squat. And I promise you it does two things. One, you don't spend as long on social media. And um, two, you get a really good leg workout while you're doing this. Here's a fun one and it's probably gonna make you laugh. Whenever you are brushing your teeth, stand on one leg like I'm doing right now and you've got this movement going. So it works on balance, works on the muscles around the ankle, works on the lower leg and the foot bones, all of those joints. When one leg gets tired, switch to the other leg. And you know, you're supposed to brush your teeth for two minutes. So two minutes of balance exercise is good for you too. One of my favorite ways to work now is standing. It is weight bearing, so that's going to help with bone health. It certainly keeps the joints more limber because you're not sitting all the time like we talked about a moment ago. And it's really easy to do. I have my computer in my computer armoire, but when I am standing, writing, reading, I can do that on a family desk that has sentimental value, so I'm not gonna trade it in for a standing desk. However, all I have to do is add a crate on top and it's the perfect height for reading and writing. If you are on the phone or in person having a meeting with one person, make it a walking meeting. If you are into gardening, now the little bit of weeding, that really doesn't do a lot. It is movement, certainly better than sitting on the sofa, but for bone building and for really working those joints, we're talking about manual labor gardening, such as this picture whenever we put in all of our soil. That day, we were sore. If you are already walking on a regular basis and your joints are okayed for doing this by a professional who's helping you design a program, add a little bit of jogging in. You know, there's the ability, you don't have to jog long distances. Let's say that you are walking for 30 minutes, maybe every five minutes, add one minute of jogging. That additional impact and pressure and tension is going to help you build bone and is going to keep everything in those joints moving well. Instead of flipping channels during commercials, build some bone instead. <laughs> <laughs> the holidays are upon us and I'm willing to bet if your family's like mine that after the meals, the adults sit around with poor posture and we don't get our joints moving and all the kids are outside with footballs or frisbees or whatever and playing around. Join them. That's just my word for the day for you is go join the fun. It's going to be better for your joints. One of my most fun games for weight training is the card deck game. With this game and I on your cheat sheet, I have what the different suits mean. Whenever you do this game, if you're playing it by yourself, you just draw a card and whatever the suit is, 
that's the exercise you're going to do and the number on the card is the number of repetitions the number of times that you do this or the number of minutes that you do this if you're doing it in a group every person can draw their own card as you go through the deck or you can have one person draw the card and everybody does it together the key with this is you have fun with it you just play make modifications if you want to if there's something on there that's like oh it's jumping jacks or jogging in place and that doesn't feel good on your joints make some modifications substitute for that set a time that you're going to do this 15 minutes 30 minutes whatever and just have some fun playing the card deck game to strengthen your bones and get your joints moving here's that isometric exercise that I promised take a relaxing breath and then pull that belly button toward the spine elongate your spine and Squeeze the butt cheeks together. Washing dishes is a perfect opportunity to get the isometric exercise in for your hip joints, great strengthening for the rear end, <laughs> and um, you just, you gotta wash dishes anyway, right? Well, that was a ton of fun. Now it's time for you to get to work. Here's what that's gonna look like. For 15 seconds, I'm gonna time you. I want you to think about the ideas I showed you ideas that it spurred in your own mind and list five ways that you are going to add bone building and joint moving fitness movement into your day all right participate with me here are you ready and go five seconds in Five seconds left. And stop. 